In the preceding parts of this EVU mini course, you learned about the basic elements of an EV battery, the battery production process, the technological characteristics or metrics by which we compare one battery chemistry to another, and the cost drivers for EV batteries. Now it's time to look at battery trends going forward. No one has a crystal ball but recent trends indicate a few key facts. Technical advances in battery design and the fabrication of anodes, cathodes, and electrolytes are likely. These will result in cell capacity improvements of 40 percent and overall increase in battery capacity by 80 to 110 percent in the 2020 to 2025 time frame. The graph on the right of your screen shows battery cost projections of 10 different studies of battery cost. You'll note that all converge on the $200 per kilowatt hour in the time range 2020 to 2030. And in the last few decades, technology has tended to progress more rapidly than most projections indicate. So the $200 per kilowatt hour projection in the 2020 to 2025 time frame seems reasonable and achievable. This graph of specific energy, you'll recall a measure of battery capacity and specific power, a measure of the power to rate ratio of a battery, provides yet another view of the current status and future outlook for EV batteries. The graph shown on your screen provides a compact view of the existing battery landscape, represented in terms of specific energy and specific power, terms we discussed in part two of this mini course. As you can see, lithium ion batteries offer distinct advantages over lead acid and nickel metal hydride batteries with supercapacitors, a technology we'll discuss briefly in a few moments offering significant potential in high power applications. The stars on the graph indicate goals established by the United States Advanced Battery Consortium. Note that goals for hybrid vehicles and PHEVs have already been met, but the goal for BEVs has yet to be achieved with production battery technology. The dash diagonal lines indicate the time to discharge at various specific energy and specific power configurations. From the plot, as power demand increases, the battery discharges more rapidly and the battery will not offer as much total energy. In 2012, McKinsey and Company developed a graph that compares the cost of gasoline with the cost of EB batteries in a dollar per kilowatt mode and then depicts the regions in which EV variants and ICE vehicles are competitive. In this case, competitive means that any electric vehicle price premium associated with battery costs will be offset over a reasonable period of ownership. The mid blue color shaded region of the graph shows that as battery cost falls below about $350 per kilowatt hour, BEVs and PHEVs become fully competitive at a gasoline price of about $350 a gallon. When battery cost is reduced to $150 per kilowatt hour, BEVs are competitive regardless of the cost of gasoline. By 2020, it's likely that batteries will cost in the $200 to $300 per kilowatt hour range, meaning that a gasoline cost of about $3 per gallon makes BEVs fully competitive with ICE vehicles. But all of this assumes incremental improvements in battery tech. What if there are disruptive improvements? Let's take a quick look at a few research directions. There are a number of major national research programs, such as the Joint Center for Energy Storage Research, dedicated to the improvement of energy storage technology. In the domain of batteries, this research is focused on a number of important areas, including graphene and carbon nanotubes that can be used for supercapacitors, 
that would reduce charging times to minutes rather than hours. The problem, fabrication difficulties and cost. And another problem, relatively low energy density. Another research area is in new electrode materials. Lithium rather than graphite electro electrodes have the potential to increase capacity by 100 to 300 percent. The problem, life cycle and safety concerns. Finally, super thin batteries can be spread over the entire vehicle surface. The problem, research is in its early stages with potential for success yet uncertain. Understanding advances in battery chemistry demands a highly technical background and is beyond the scope of this EVU mini course. For our discussion, suffice it to say that a variety of lithium-based chemistries offer some potential. Lithium vanadium phosphate offers faster charging and longer life expect expectancy than lithium ion. Lithium sulfur is claimed to increase energy density by a factor of four. Lithium air has the potential to achieve energy density of gasoline but it is not suitable for the heavy loads of automotive applications, but possibly could be used to supplement the lithium ion battery. Finally, a word about supercapacitors. If you read about the future of EBVs, you'll often encounter the term and along with it statements about supercapacitors as a breakthrough technology for EVs. The future impact of supercapacitors is unclear but it's worth exploring this energy storage technology briefly. Two, two carbon electrodes sandwich an electrolyte to form a supercapacitor that holds an electric charge. The characteristics of this device are that it can be implemented as a thin film with high power density but low specific energy. It can be charged very quickly in minutes and because it is very thin it has potential for body panel applications. That is, the supercapacitor would become part of the vehicle body panels, thereby accommodating the ge geometric constraint we discussed earlier in this mini course. Given the current state of the technology and the immutable laws of physics, a supercapacity would supplement the EV battery, but would not replace it. It provides a burst of power for acceleration, allowing the battery to provide steady state power over the long term. Or alternatively, it might be used to supplement lithium ion battery to extend its capacity. We've covered a lot of ground in this EVU mini course. Let's summarize. Battery components form cells organized into modules and built as a pack. Building high capacity EV batteries is constrained by geometry, weight, and technology. Six metrics can be considered when evaluating a battery pack. Specific energy, specific power, lifespan, cost, safety, and performance. And new technology may enable improvements in all six of these characteristics. If these improvements are significant, and only time will tell if they are. EVs will provide the range and performance that will rival ICE vehicles.